Hello and welcome back to Magic Hat Security Pen Testing Tutorials. Today I'm going to go over a little application called Wi-Fi Pumpkin. Um, Wi-Fi Pumpkin has a few uses. I have to sudo up here for it to activate. There we go. Um, it's going to bug you every time you open up about a new version. Even if you have the new version installed, I just pretty much ignore it. Um, it's going to ask me for a Wi-Fi interface. So I'm going to tell it to refresh. Um, or actually, you know what? We're going to start without connections because I mainly want to show you the um, the apparatus. <laughs> and let's see. We do have... Yeah, we do have the two different um, ones connected. We can connect here. Let me do that. And then we can just connect here. Okay. So anyway, um, this is the interface. Let me go ahead and go full screen with this. This is the interface of uh, um, Wi-Fi Pumpkin. Um, it has several different settings you can set to. Now let's go to settings and see here access point. Because you can do a great man in the middle with this. We're going to do, let's see, our uh, guest Wi Fi. Okay, so can't miss that one. Um, let's go with, uh, I don't know, channel 6. And we can change the, the BSS ID to whatever we want. Um, if you want to put wireless security on it, you can. It gives you choices of what type, but. You know, unless we're trying to, we have special need and we're trying to mimic a particular type. Um, we really don't have a need for that. Um, here you can set your, your, you know, fake router and subnet mask and all that good stuff. Um, so it's, it's pretty configurable. Um, and then here we can choose which one we want to be the AP. Um, we'll choose one. And uh, check the network connection on it. And checking and uh, no complaints so it seems to be fine so if we wanted to start our AP now we can start our AP click start and there we go it's going into into our start mode and it says the status is on as you see down here okay so we'll go to home and the plug-in SSL strip and DNS2 proxy is on. Um, this will show us any devices that connect. Okay. Um, and, oh, by the way, the plugins are here. Like I said, you can just kind of go through it. Um, there's the SSL strip proxy. Um, activity monitor. Um, you can see different requests if someone does connect. Uh, the stations. Um, so there's all kinds of um, cool little things that you can do with this. Um, and if you look up here, you have additional additional things that you can do. Um, all you have to do is just go through and play around with it. Okay. Now I'm not going to go through everything. Like I said, we just kind of... Um, you do have DripNet too, by the way. Though. I'm going to show you that. So as they, uh, if they join your your uh, AP here then uh, you would see what images uh, they're looking at as they browse the web but um, uh, I have both of them connected to uh, going out to this so you won't be able to see it but anyway that's how that works and we'll hit stop and stop our AP and then we can go ahead and close this um, no exit so we'll just exit out and that's all for today Thank you very much for joining us. And remember, all this is for legal things. You do not want to go to jail, so uh, make sure you do this legally on a network that you have permission to do it on. Um, preferably your own little lab network that you set up with virtual machines. I may even go over setting one of those up later on at a later date. So, have a good one. Don't do anything, anything illegal. illegal. And have a great day.